So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 21st and 22nd of March 2023. All right, so without any delay, guys, let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question. What is the theme of fifth portion Pakwara being celebrated by Ministry of Women and Child Development headed by Smriti Irani from 20th March to 3rd of April 2023? So the theme has been asked. So remember, guys, it is the fifth edition of uh, portion Pakwara, which was which is being celebrated by the Ministry of Women and Child Development for the from, uh, from 20th March to 3rd of April 2023, right? Now, the objective every year of uh, PA, uh, this portion Pakwada is to raise awareness about the importance of nutrition, right? Is to, aware, is to raise awareness about the importance of nutrition and to promote healthy eating habits through Jan Andolan and Jan Bhagi Dari, or we can say through people's participation, right? So, that the awareness is being created about the importance of nutrition and also the healthy eating habits are being promoted with the people's participation through the fifth edition of Potion Pakhwara. And always remember the nodal ministry for this is Ministry of Women and Child Development and not the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution or not the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So don't get confused between the ministries. All right. Now talking more about this Pakhwara. So remember this time the theme is nutrition for all together towards a healthy India. Nutrition for all together towards a healthy India is the theme and its focus this year is obviously on the popularization of millet that is Shri Anna. All right. Nodal ministry hum sabko pata hai and these were the three key themes. These are the three key themes of the portion Pakwara this year. Number one promotion and popularization of Shri Anna that is millet and that is obviously because we are in the international year of millet 2023. Celebration of Swast Balak Spardha. Now, what is this Swast Balak Spardha? Basically, it was for generating a healthy spirit of competition for good nutrition among the uh, among the children. And also popularization Saksham Anganwadi. So the government of India also intends to, to you know uh, to effect to, to you know uska jo, jo anganwadis hote hai, unke effective implementation, uski jo quality enhancement pe sarkar ka focus hai. And that is also one of the focus of uh, Poshan Pakhwara, that is to popularize the Saksham Anganwadis. All right. So that is all about this. And what is the theme of fifth edition of Poshan Pakhwara? So that's nutrition for all. Together towards a healthy India, option C is the correct answer. Question number two. Pe chalte. Question number two says, where has the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and WHO Southeast Asia Regional Office organized? A global conference on digital health with the theme taking universal health coverage to the last citizen. Now, this global conference on digital health took place in New Delhi and it was organized by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and WHO's Southeast Asia Regional Office. Right. Now, the objective of this conference, guys, remember, was to shift focus from just preparing the strategy to achieve a global consensus on plan of action that produces impactful results in the area of digital health, right? So that we can achieve the universal health coverage with the help of digital health. Now, the focus is on achieving the targets of universal health coverage and that was the theme also. Taking UHC to the last citizen, okay? Now, organizers ki baad mein aapko already bata chuka hu, Southeast Asia Regional Office and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and these were the five sessions of the conference which you do not have to remember but this is for the understanding that what uh, what actually happened during this conference. So digital health an imperative for UHC. Iske bina we cannot achieve UHC. Without digital health it is not possible these days to achieve universal health coverage. So this was the focus. Digital health population scale strategic enablers. Digital health population scale technology enablers. Right, innovations for USC and global digital goods for USC. And let me repeat this. You don't have to remember all these word by word. This is just for the understanding that what actually happened during the conference. Okay, so that is all. So the question is about the location. So it took place in New Delhi. Option A is the correct answer. Question number three. Pe aajate, City Finance Ranking 2022 portal has been made live. 
recently to enable urban local bodies across the country to participate in the city finance rankings 2022 right so which ministry has launched this portal most of the time whenever you see the word city the answer must be the ministry must be the ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri kabhi kabhi koi exception ho sakta hai but 9 out of 10 times whenever you see the word city the ministry would be the ministry of housing and urban affairs and that is the case here also the city finance ranking 2022 portal has been made live by the ministry of housing and urban affairs and on this portal the urban local bodies right who wants to participate in the city finance ranking they can upload their documents and whatever things are required to participate in the city finance ranking right remember right now the rankings have not been released portal for participants have been opened has been opened right so now talking about city finance rankings 2022 iske bare mein thoda sa discuss kar lete hain ki ye kya hai basically so remember uh, this ranking evaluates recognize and rewards municipal bodies on the basis of their effective finance management right finance management ke on the basis of quality of their current financial health and improvement over time in financial performance and there are three major key areas or you can say key uh, determiners on the basis of which the finance rankings are decided number one is resource mobilization number two is expenditure performance and number 3 is fiscal governance and under these three key areas there are total 15 indicators which you don't have to remember just remember the number of indicators 15 within these three key areas resource mobilization expenditure performance and fiscal governance now remember there are four categories of cities which will be awarded which will be given rankings under these ranking and these cities have been categorized uh, on the basis of their population above 4 million between 1 to 4 100k to 1 million and less than 100k all right and in each category top 3 cities uh, will be awarded by the ministry of housing and urban affairs okay so that is all about this city finance ranking and which ministry is this i already told you the answer that's ministry of housing and urban affairs headed by hardeep singh puri who is also the minister of petroleum and natural gas all right option c is the correct answer question number 4 the various developmental and welfare projects or programs in mining affected areas are taken up under pradhan mantri khanij kshetra kalyan yojana because whenever there is a mining the people around uh, that area are naturally are obviously affected by that mining process so for that pradhan mantri khanij khanij kshetra kalyan yojana is under implementation now these projects or programs are funded by which fund now there is a fund also which funds these projects okay so that fund guys is district mineral foundation trust fund district mineral foundation trust is the fund under which these developmental and welfare projects under pradhan mantri khanij kshetra kalyan yojana are being funded okay now talking about dmf so it is for working uh, it was launched for the working for the interest and benefits of the person and areas affected by the mines माइनिंग रिलेटेड ऑपरेशन ठीक है एंड सेक्शन नाइन बी ऑफ एम एम डी आर एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन प्रिस्क्राइब ऑफ दिस फंड इन एनी डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच इज अफेक्टेड बाई द माइनिंग रिलेटेड ऑपरेशन एंड रिमेंबर वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दैट इज दिस फंड इज नॉट फंडेड बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट और द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट राधर इट इज फंडेड बाय स्टैच्यूटरी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रिसीव फ्रॉम द होल्डर्स ऑफ माइनिंग लीजेस जो माइनिंग लीजेस के होल्डर होंगे वो कंट्रीब्यूशन देंगे इस फंड में इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ फिक्स्ड परसेंटेज ऑफ रॉयल्टी दैट इज प्रिस्क्राइब बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ठीक है विच मीन दिस फंड इज नॉट फंडेड बाय सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट आइर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट और एनी ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट राइट कोई भी नहीं कर रहा कौन दे रहा फंड इसको होल्डर्स ऑफ द माइनिंग लीज ठीक है वो इसमें फंड करते हैं एंड दैट फंड दैट अमाउंट इज यूज फॉर वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंट for those areas or for those people who are affected by the mining operations theek hai so that is all and which fund is this district mineral foundation trust option d is the correct answer <clears throat> question number 5 where was sorry when was her start platform introduced by gujarat university startup and entrepreneurship council to promote women startups and to encourage women entrepreneurs 
रिमेंबर दिस हर स्टार्ट प्लेटफॉर्म वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस बाई गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी इन दर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू विद मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव एज द नेम से हर स्टार्ट प्लेटफॉर्म विच मीन्स इट इंटेंस टू प्रमोट वुमेन ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स राइट so to support women entrepreneurs to take off their innovative ideas to provide resources and training modules free of cost to aspiring women entrepreneurs because promote kaise karenge by providing them some kind of support now what type of support is this that is resources are being provided training modules free of cost are being provided to the women entrepreneurs who are the aspiring women entrepreneurs okay and also to serve as digital community and digital publication to spread their success stories now again whenever i talk about the objectives you don't have to remember it learn it word by word just understand no her start her start means what start is from startup and her is of course signifies their a woman right so the objective of this platform must be must be to promote women entrepreneurs that is more than enough right launcher i told you it is a platform of gujarat university startup and entrepreneurship council with two components one is incubator and one is accelerator one is her start incubator which provides incubation facility to the aspiring entrepreneurs and one is her start accelerator which provide acceleration facility to the aspiring women entrepreneurs okay so that is all about it and when it was launched 2022 option b is the correct answer क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पे आ जाते हैं इसी बात पे वेयर हैज अपीडा अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ग्लोबल मिलेट्स कॉन्फ्रेंस टू स्टिमुलेट द एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ मिलेट फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड प्रोवाइड मार्केट लिंकेज टू द प्रोड्यूसर्स कहां पे अपीडा ने इसको ऑर्गेनाइज किया है किसको ग्लोबल मिलेट्स श्री अन्ना कॉन्फ्रेंस टू स्टिमुलेट द एक्सपोर्ट्स वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड गाइज Are you facing any voice issue? Hello, hello. Yes. Okay. So, where has APDA, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, organized uh, Sri Anna Conference to stimulate the exports of millets from India and provide market linkage to the producers? So, let's talk about this conference. First of all, this conference was launched was organized by APDA where in New Delhi. कहाँ पे हुआ था? New Delhi में हुआ था. And during this conference. some of these initiatives some of these mous some of these books were launched right number one a commemorative stamp and a commemorative coin was launched to mark international year of millets 2023 number one is this compendium of indian millet compendium of indian millet startups was launched right book of millet shri anna a holistic overview it was also launched and that was prepared by fssai food safety and standard regulation authority of india Indian Institute of Millet Research of ICAR has been given a tag of Global Center of Excellence. It has been identified as a Global Center of Excellence for promoting for promoting what millets. All right. And finally, an MOU has been signed between the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and United Nations World Food Program for what for area for cooperation in the area of millet promotion for a period of two thousand and twenty three. to 2027 all right so these are some of the announcements during the global millet conference which took place in new delhi and organized by apida and that's why the correct answer is option b new delhi question number 7 which ministry is implementing central sector scheme champion service sector scheme for medical value travel now this scheme is being implemented not by the ministry of health and family welfare बट बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष ये हम पहले भी डिस्कस कर चुके हैं बट एनी वेज दोबारा से डिस्कस कर लेते हैं एंड इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज द पार्लियामेंट्री रिप्लाई हैज बिन सबमिटेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री सो इट इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष विच इज इंप्लीमेंटिंग चैंपियन सर्विस सेक्टर स्कीम फॉर मेडिकल वैल्यू ट्रेवल एंड वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन अंडर द स्कीम इज दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स द असिस्टेंस फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ मेडिकल वैल्यू ट्रेवल for export of medical services from india okay so to encourage private investors to invest in iu sector through establishment of world class state of the art day care hospitals or special hospitals and to promote export of medical value travel services including services supplied to foreign consumers in india all right 
फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस अंडर दिस स्कीम इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी एंड फॉर दैट इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी देयर आर वेरियस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज व्हिच आर टू मच टेक्निकल डोंट गो इनटू दैट नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी के फॉर्म में फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस दिया जाता है फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल्स डे केयर सेंटर्स ऑफ द इंडियन सिस्टम्स ऑफ मेडिसिन ठीक है आयुष में आयुर आयुर्वेद योगा यूनानी सिद्धा एंड होम्योपैथी ठीक है ना इंप्लीमेंटेशन जोन की बात करें इट विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन द ग्रीन फील्ड मोड ओनली ऑन पैन इंडिया बेसिस विच मीन द फंडिंग विल बी गिवेन टू द ग्रीन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट ओनली विच आर द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट राइट ग्रीन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट आर वॉट विच आर द न्यू प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है एंड ब्राउन फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट आर दी एक्जिस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट और राइट एंड फंडिंग मैकेनिज्म की बात करें तो सिडबी सिडबी हैज दी नोडल रोल इन द फंडिंग मैकेनिज्म एंड सिडबी इज फेसिलिटेटिंग इजी लोन थ्रू द आइडेंटिफाइड पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक and these loans are being provided to the private sector for establishment of for development of super speciality hospitals in the indian traditional medicine systems okay so that is all guys about it and it is the ministry of ayush which is implementing this particular scheme now question number 8 blended learning platform for higher education in agriculture was launched recently by icar in collaboration with Which of the following organization? Very important question. Blended learning platform, right? Blended learning platform has been launched by ICAR during international conference on blended learning ecosystem for higher education in agriculture in New Delhi. This conference took place in New Delhi, and during this conference, this blended learning platform has been launched in collaboration with World Bank. In collaboration with World Bank. All right. the objective is to strengthen the national agriculture education system in the country it is it has been developed by icar as part of world bank funded five year program which is national agriculture higher education project so this is a five year funded uh, funded by world bank program national higher agriculture higher education project so under this project this blended uh, learning platform has been launched all right फाइनेंशियल कंट्रीब्यूशन की बात करें सो टोटल 82.5 मिलियन अबाउट 600 करोड़ ईच ईच राइट 600 करोड़ ईच विल बी गिवन बाय द वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है इट इज रिमेंबर एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ कृषि मेघ व्हिच इज नथिंग बट नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशन सिस्टम क्लाउड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सर्विस राइट कृषि मेघ इज प्रोवाइडिंग क्लाउड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सर्विसेज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एजुकेशन इन द कंट्री which was started in august 2020 and of course it will take krishi make one step ahead by you know putting some more technologies by enhancing the level of agricultural ed education okay so which international organization is this so that's world bank option d is the correct answer which is headquartered in washington dc and it is headed by david malpas question number 9 When was the flagship network research project Nikra, which is National Innovation in Climate Resilient Agriculture, was launched by ICAR to meet the challenges of sustaining domestic food production in the face of changing climate? Now, I have recently uh, discussed this scheme with the enrolled student. Enrolled student must know this. अभी जब हम revision कर रहे हैं government schemes की तो उसमें हमने discuss किया था. तो ये फिर से news में है. तो फिर से I have taken this. So Nikra project. is being implemented by icar since 2011 and as the name suggests it is for developing climate resilient technologies to make our agriculture ecosystem climate resilient climate change resilient jo hamare duniya mein climate change aa raha hai uska samna karne ke liye taiyar karne ke liye this project is being implemented by icar right now there are certain focus areas of this project number 1 Identifying most vulnerable districts or regions, evolving crop varieties and management practices for adaptation and mitigation, and finally assessing climate change impacts on livestock, fisheries, etc., etc. All right. So the launch year has been asked, and that's why the correct answer is option B, 2011, 2011. And now let's talk about the questions in short. which do not need much explanation but before that if you want to have the pdf of this session you can join this telegram channel the link is in description and also 
the supplies that we were talking about shall be released on 25th of March. So stay tuned for that surprise. All right. Question number 10. Where has inception meeting of civil 20 been held under India's G20 presidency? G is missing here. G20 presidency. So civil 20 is another group under G20. Civil 20 is another group under G20 which consists of civil society organizations of the G20 member nations. Right. And during this, these meetings, basically what happens is that these civil society organizations put up the people's aspiration. And those people are from, of course, G20 member nation. This time, C20 chair, C20 chair, our country's organization is Ma Amritanand Mai. I hope you have heard of Ma Amritanand Mai was, this organization was the chair of Civil 20. And this meeting took place in Nagpur, the city of Oranges. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 11. Which ministry has formulated national strategy and roadmap for medical and wellness tourism in order to boost medical tourism in the country? When it is tourism, when we are talking about tourism, chahe wo medical tourism hai, ya kisi bhi rural tourism hai, ya handicraft tourism hai, the answer would be the Ministry of Tourism, headed by, headed by G. Kishan Reddy. Option C is the correct answer. From which date Ministry of Rural Development has made Digitally capturing Manrega attendance universal through National Mobile Monitoring System app. This app was launched in the year 2021. What was the objective of launching this app? Digital attendance of Manrega workers, right? It was, this app was used in a pilot mode in Alwar district of Rajasthan. And with its success, the government intends to make, uh, to make use of this app universal from 1st of January 2023, option A is the correct answer. What is the percentage of workers in the usual status engaged in agriculture and life sector as per PLFS, the recent one released by MOSPI? Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation is headed by Rao Indrajit Singh. And his Lok Sabha constituency, if I am not wrong, is Gurugram. So this percentage of worker is 45.46%. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 14, what is the share of GVA of agriculture and allied sectors in total economy at current prices in 2022-2023? Such data are provided in the parliamentary replies given by the ministers, respective ministers. So from there I have picked these data, right? So that's, uh, I think 20.3%. What is the share of gross value added of agriculture and allied sectors in total economy at current prices in 2022-2023? I myself forget this. I think it's 18.3 or 20.3. I'm confused between this. Once again, let us check it. <clears throat> it should be 18.3 or 20.3. Yes, that's 18.3%. Right? 18.3% is the uh, share of GV of agriculture and light sectors in total economy. Question number 15. As of 2021, India has been the largest producer and dash largest exporter of millets. So remember India is the largest producer of millets and it is the seventh largest exporter of millets. So option E is the correct answer. And the last question for today, where has Asia's largest four meter international liquid mirror telescope been recently inaugurated in the campus of ARES, which is Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences. And this is in Nanital, option A is the correct answer. In the campus of Aries, it was inaugurated in Nanital. So, option A is the correct answer. And Nanital, of course, is in Uttarakhand. All right. So, that is all for today's class. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Goodbye. Take care. And God bless.